Welcome to German pronunciation part 3 consonants. The first two videos were all about vowels and here you have the links. You also find the link to my blog where you have all the information and the PDF. And here you see the castle. It's not yet done. There is still way to do. The first step, and these are double consonants. So there are a lot of double consonants in German words, but they do mean that they are actually doubled, like you have in Italian, bello, bella. It just means that you have a vowel before the consonant that is short. So the consonant itself isn't any longer than one single consonant. So you have kommen, affe, alle. It's a short o, a, a. This is uh, especially important if your mother language is Italian, for example, or if you have the same concept of real double consonants that are pronounced longer. So we go. Now we have the consonants S, B, D and G. There is a difference between voiced and voiceless sounds. It might sound strange that you can voice a consonant, but we will see what it actually means. We have first initial sounds, that means the consonant is at the beginning, and we have final sound. So let's see the first example, S. It's Z. When it's at the beginning and here you see this word is not really at the beginning at a first glance however the b is a prefix you will figure this out um, in a very short time so don't worry about the prefixes so we have and please repeat after me sieben besonders sie the S, however, is voiceless, and here it's, I think, quite clear. It's S. So please note the difference between Z and S. There is no voice behind this S. And here it's really at the end of a word. Aus und nichts. Aus, nichts. There is no voice behind the S. The next one, B. And here it's a bit strange to say voice and voiceless. We will see what it actually means. At the beginning of the word, it's a real B. At the end, however, it's a P. P. It means that uh, this consonant ends very hard at the end of a word and you actually kind of know that because you have uh, heard German speakers, you listen to uh, German and it sounds hard. Be and this is mainly, well, of course we have a strange combination of consonants that don't sound so nice, um, at least for lots of people, but it's also because there is no voiced or no soft ending. It, all the words, or nearly all of them, or the consonants, let's say the consonants, they end very hard. So let's see. Ba, blau. Here you listen, it's no R, we will come to this later. Ba, blau. It's really a B. However, here it's gelb, halb. Once again, gelb, halb. So don't make the mistake to say, for example, gelbe, 
halbe. So if your mother language is French or Italian, you probably would say it this way. It really sounds nice, but it's not German. So go. you are building your castle up. And we have D and G. So again, the same. It's the difference between D and T and G and K. Du, drei und Hand. Once again, and please repeat. Du, drei und Hand. G. Gut, genau, Tag, Zug. Once again. Gut, genau, Tag, Zug. And then we have the F or F sound. And here it's important because this is a source of lots of mistakes. The F sound can be in two different consonants, the English V and the, norm the normal F. So this is vier, vor, fenster. Once again, vier, vor, fenster. So the V is really only a we in some words that derive from Latin, like in verb, vocal. But of course, the of course these are not common words in German. So please pay attention that you pronounce it as an F, vier, four. It's a very very typical mistake. We have again a very um, common mistake it's the Z because it's not at all a Z sound in um, German it's really a TS so if you have in mind that you cross out every Z and you write down a TS then you're right so Zug 10 80 once again Zug 10 80. And you also see there is no difference in pronunciation when I actually have a T Z. It's still T S. So then we have W or in German V. And now we have like the real V. Wann, wo, wie. Once again, and please repeat after me. Wann, wo, wie. So you have, I think, reached a huge step. You're building up your... And in the next video, I will explain the, I think, very complicated... CH sound um, which has different forms of pronouncing it and it's very important to get it right. Last but not least I wanted to say thank you for all the sharing you did in the social networks. It, it's amazing and yeah it, it's really fantastic that you appreciate my work. Thank you and yeah, till the next video. Tschüss!